Waimangu is another geothermal attraction located near Rotorua on New Zealand's North Island. It's a geothermal valley that was formed by a volcanic eruption in 1886, which was one of the largest volcanic eruptions in New Zealand's history. Hello friends, this is our last episode of our New Zealand series for this time. Hope you are watching our previous episodes to explore the fascinating world of New Zealand. The 4 km stretches of the Waimangu Volcanic Rift Valley running from southern crater to the shore of Lake Ratumahana has been a hotspot of geothermal and hydrothermal activities since the 1886 Mount Tarawera eruption and contain the three lake filled craters Southern Crater, Eco Crater and Inferno Crater as well as other various craters. Waimangu is a Maori language word meaning black water. This name comes from the water that was thrown by the Waimangu geyser, which was black with mud and rocks. We walked the trail in the Waimangu for nearly three hours. It was an amazing journey. There was not a single person crossed our path, only very few birds. It was very secluded experience, owing at times, but at the end of the trail, it was truly rewarding. An experience that we never imagined having. One of the highlights of a visit to Waimangu is the Frying Pan Lake, which is the largest hot spring in the world by volume. It has a bright blue-green color and is surrounded by steam vent and geothermal activities. Frying Pan Lake is a hot spring that is known for being the largest hot spring in the world by area, covering around 38,000 square meter. The lake's temperature can reach up to 50 to 60 degrees centigrade. It is also known for its vibrant yellow and green color, probably on a sunny day, that are caused by presence of sulfur and other minerals in the water. We could see the overflowing streams from the frying pan lake passing by the walking trail. Inferno Crater is one of the most interesting geothermal features in Waimangu. It is one of the world's largest hot water springs with a diameter of approximately 65 meters and a depth of around 36 meters. The Inferno Crater is a very active geothermal feature and is often produces steam and gas emissions as well as boiling water. The water temperature in the crater can reach up to 90 degrees centigrade. The water in the crater is so acidic it has a pH level of 3. The Inferno Crater was also formed in 1886 during the volcanic eruption that created Waibango Volcanic Valley. All vegetation in the valley originated from no earlier than 1890s, when plants started repopulating the area in a natural succession following the complete destruction of any plant life by the 1886 eruption. Over the past 120 years, plant life in the Waimango Valley has re-established itself by dispersion of spores and seeds by wind and birds. No planting by humans were done.
blue green algae growing on the center floor of Waimangu streams were widely visible along the walking trail. The average temperature of its acidic water is 55 degrees centigrade. Waimangu stream is flown through the valley into the Lake Rotomahana. Arriving at the Lake Rotomahana marks the end of the walking trail. There was a shuttle bus service from the end point of the walking trail that took us back to the visitor center. Hope you enjoyed this series on the fascinating world of New Zealand. Snow Cap Mountain in Queenstown to the extremely hot and acidic world of Rotorua. It was a journey worth traveling. Visit New Zealand if you can, as we hope to return to New Zealand again in future if we can manage another opportunity. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel.